Please stand. Please stand. <coughs>
I can hear the angel song. I am reaching for Jordan. Take my hand, Lord, please me home. I am standing on the mountain. I can't hear the angel song. I am reaching over Jordan. He was called home September 18th, 2020. I know there's so many, so many that maybe have questions. Why? I can't tell you. The only thing I can tell you this morning is that it was God's will. Uh, because uh, this morning people say, well, I, I just don't understand how it was God's will with all the people praying, Brother Danny. Amen. If it was God's will to heal Brother Joey, hey man, he would. <laughs> uh, this uh, morning we're going to read to you a few verses in Second Corinthians and the uh, first chapter and the Lord being our helper this day we'll be able to get the thought that he gives us uh, uh, amen brought forth but it says grace be to you and peace from God our Father uh, and from the Lord Jesus Christ blessed be God uh, uh, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ and the Father of our mercies uh, uh, and the God of all comfort who comforts us in, in all tribulation that we may be able to comfort them uh, uh, which are in trouble by comfort wherewith ourselves are uh, comforted of God. And uh, uh, and this morning as I, as I was praying up there at the funeral home, uh, uh, amen, Brother Joey, as, as I got to know him, amen, down through time, amen, uh, uh, and there is when he was in church, amen, and whenever his daddy or his brothers, uh, uh, amen, would get up and stand and proclaim the name of God, uh, uh, amen, and they would get a touch from home, uh, uh, amen, what joy it brought to Joey's heart, uh, uh, amen, and this evening, uh, uh, amen, I'm glad, amen, that I'm able to uh, amen to stand and proclaim the name of Jesus uh, amen over brother Joey here uh, amen and to this family uh, amen that uh, amen I was a part of from the time amen that uh, amen Joey drove me home uh, amen I want you to know and I know that you do uh, amen I love you dearly uh, amen but there uh, amen it's a dark time to come uh, uh, amen, God, amen, uh, uh, send the comforter, uh, amen, to those which believe, uh, amen, this evening, uh, I don't know if there be a lost soul here this morning, uh, or this evening, but bless God, uh, amen, I want to know, uh, I want you to know this morning, uh, amen, that Brother Joey this year, uh, amen, ain't here, but if you want to see him, uh, amen, again, uh, Amen. You better get born again. Amen. 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 And I want you to understand. Amen. I can't give it to you. 
Uh, amen, Brother Carter. You can't give it to them. Uh, amen. Bless God, but it's true that. Uh, amen. The drawing of the Spirit. Uh, amen. That. Uh, amen. Conviction. Uh, amen. That which draws you. Uh, amen. It breaks your heart. Uh, amen. But I tell you what. Uh, amen. You think you've been heartbroken. Uh, amen. Then. Uh, uh, just think about him saying to me. Uh, uh, you depart from me, you worker of iniquity. Uh, amen. For I never knew you. Uh, amen. That'd be awful. Uh, amen. It's awful. Amen. Standing here today. Uh, amen. But bless God. Uh, amen. If you're born again, uh, on the authority of God's word, then uh, He said that we would. Uh, amen. See Him again. Uh, amen. He said over there. Uh, he said that uh, if it weren't so, I would have told you. Uh, amen. But He said, I'll come again. Amen. Bless God and receive you. Amen. Unto myself. Amen. That where I am, there you will be also. Amen. And I want you to understand. Amen. That death is sure. Amen. It is. The Bible said that it was. He said it was appointed. And the man wants to die. Amen. But there I want you to know somebody else had. He said, but hey, if you do, hey man, you can live again. Uh, hey man, they see me. Uh, hey man, I know uh, uh, there's a lot of people. Uh, hey man, the joy to us. Uh, hey man, yeah. he was a man of love. Uh, hey man, he was a man of honor. Uh, hey man, uh, and I want to tell you something. If he was with you, uh, hey man, they didn't nobody come against you. Uh, hey man, uh, hey, he stood up for you. Uh, hey man, had your back. Uh, hey, no matter if you was wrong. Uh, Hey man, that's the type of boy Joey was. Hey man, I tell you what, he stood for me. Hey man, on several occasions. Hey man, but I tell you what, I got one there today. Hey man, it'll stand with you. Hey man, on all occasions. He said that he'd stick closer than a brother. Hey man, he would. Hey man, I tell you what, the Bible said there. Hey man, he'll pick you up. By the mighty clay. Yeah. Hey, Amen. He'll set your feet upon a rock. Hey, Amen. Not only that, he didn't leave you there. He said, I'll establish your goings. Hey, Amen. This evening, I want you to know. Hey, Amen. That God. Hey, Amen. Joey, I believe we rejoice. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. So loud, I think that'd be some thunder, Danny. Hey, Amen. If somebody got saved today. Hey, Amen. That's just joy. Hey man, he rejoiced in all things. Hey man, good or bad. And he'd put a smile on your face. Hey man, and when you seen him, most of the time he had a smile on his. Hey man, I tell you what, you can leave here with a smile today. Hey man, that the devil himself couldn't wipe off. Hey man, you can leave here. Hey man, saved to the uttermost. Hey man, I have to worry. Hey, hey man, about time. Hey, hey man, Joey, I know he was feared. Hey, hey man, but it was because of these right here. Hey, hey man, I tell you what. Hey man, that's what. Hey, he was worried about leaving. Hey man, but I tell you what. Hey, the Bible said, Brother Danny, oh, hey man, he said, Oh, death, where's thy sting? Oh, grave, where's thy victory? Hey man, I tell you what. Hey, man, that old great man ain't got no victory today. Hey, huh? man, there wasn't no sting of death that come to joy. Huh? Hey, man, huh? oh, he went. Huh? Hey, man, just like the Lord wanted. Huh? Hey, man, huh? and I tell you, huh? I thought about this the other day. Huh? Hey, man, huh? oh, when we were over there, huh? hey, man, the old fish pond. Huh? Hey, man, with fish, huh? I might not catch nothing. Huh? Hey, man, but I I tell you what the Lord said. Hey, man, he said if we'd follow him, hey, man, he'd make us fishers of men. Hey, man, if you got a doubt about the Lord today, hey, you look at the lives that this boy's touch. Hey, man, that's here today. Hey, man, he'll make people love you. Hey, man, 
didn't like you. Hey, amen. He didn't hey, amen. Let you be acquainted with him. Hey, amen. Hey, uh, because, hey, amen, the love of God. Hey, amen. This evening. Uh, their family, as I said, you know I love you. I'm a part of it. Hey, Amen. Ma grabbed me up up there at the funeral home and she said, I'm glad Joey brought you home. Hey, Amen. I'm glad the Lord sent Joey to bring me home. Hey, Amen. I believe it was in God's plan. Hey, Amen. Because I was a lost and a dying and going to hell. Hey Amen. Joey didn't save me. Danny didn't save me. The Lord saved me. Hey Amen. But there was a requirement that I had to meet living at Danny's house. He said, you live here. You respect my home, my wife, my daughter. He said, you go to church when the doors is open. And I said, that ain't too much to ask. Hey Amen. I tell you this evening, this right here, hey Amen, was a a man that's going to be dearly missed by so many, even the ones that ain't here. Hey, man, I'm going to miss him. My little old boy. Bless Bless I went home. And I told him, I said, son, I said, remember Big Joe Joe? He said, yeah. He said, where are we going over? Bless you all. I said, son, Joe, go with the whole fear of the Lord. He said, when can we come over there? <laughs> His mama said, son, he, he went in heaven. The Lord needed him. He said, well, can we drive there? <laughs> hey, man, that's how much. Hey, man, people wanted to be around him. They would, they would go anywhere to meet him, go anywhere to see him. Hey man, and if you want to see him again today, you better be ready. And that's all I got. Hey man, but I tell you right now, this right here is worth they having on there. Hey man, if you need to use it, hey man, you come and use it. Hey man, you hey, you won't interrupt this service. Hey man, I can promise you that. Hey man, because. Joey would want that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Yeah. They sang here in just a second, but you better be ready. Like I said, this family, I love them, and I wouldn't come this way trying to write nothing down, wouldn't try to pin nothing up. Hey, Amen. I wanted to give them what God gave me. It's, I said, if you've got that need of salvation, or if you've got a need just in general, Yes. The Lord is here today. Yes. Yes. Amen. He said that he would be. He would never leave us nor forsake us. He would go with us all the way to the end. Amen. If you need him today, he's right here. Bless your heart, God. God. I'll rest me ever 
And so I'll carry my cross through the midnight. Come morning, glory for me. I can't say I know how you feel, son. I've buried mothers, fathers, and brothers, but I've never married one of all. And I'm going to tell you, it's an honor to be here this evening to stand before a crowd of people that he's touched, made a difference. So let his light shine, the Bible says. Made an impact in each and every one of his life somehow or another. Yeah. Whether it be on the job, whether it be a family member, or just a friend. Praise the Lord, God. This old boy does rag breathing eat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We get down there at the deer camp and sit around that fire drinking coffee and eating. You just rag me till I get aggravated. I have to get up and walk off. <laughs> <laughs> love to hunt, love to fish, love to play softball. But most of all, you know what I noticed about this boy? He loved kids. Yeah. <laughs> I don't reckon he ever met a stranger far too young. <laughs> I thought about it on the way over here. He was the one to give my grandson his first 22 rifle. Yeah. Bless the Lord. I want to read this one little old verse of scripture for you family. Maybe just a couple of you. I can't. Son, I ain't got no words except to tell you that I love you. Bless your heart, God. And I'm glad God put us together. Yeah. We've been together several years, son. I've had the honor of having him as my pastor. I've had the honor of standing and singing with his mother. But God said this. And the peace of God which path us all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. I hope, pray, that comforts y'all this evening, Danny. Bless you, Lord. As the preacher was preaching, I'm sure some of you saying it's foolish. But the Bible says, through the foolishness of preaching, men and women, boys and girls, can be born again into the family of God. Now, I didn't come to preach this man's funeral. I can't. He done preached. The Lord did say this. He said, my ways is not your ways. They're much higher. I don't understand I looked for him to come home. I really did. But God had another purpose. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you what happened to him. Here in just a few minutes, if God allowed me, uh, just to fall over into his hands for just a few minutes, maybe to preach to you all that don't know the Lord. And the free pardon of sin never found a place. The Bible said... It is appointed unto man who wants to die and then the judgment. I'm glad this boy found judgment one day. He died to the practice of sin when the Holy Spirit of God came by through the foolishness of preaching yeah. and convicted his heart to let him know he, he was a lost sinner without Christ Jesus. Yeah. And he bowed on his hands and knees and called upon a man called Jesus, which said in the word of God, my friend, I, if you'd call upon the name of Jesus in no wise, would he cast you out, but he'd come in and sup with you. I'm telling you, this boy had a testimony. Yeah. I tell you, this boy's in glory today. Without a shadow of a doubt, he's in glory. Yeah. 
The Bible over there in Daniel speaks of a river over there and having two men. Yeah. One in the middle and one on one side and the other on the other side. I believe the night Joy took his last breast, he was down at the river. Yeah. And there's a man in the Bible said, my sheep know my voice. Yeah. Called him by name and took him across the river of death and delivered him to Almighty God. Yeah. Listen, now, now before he did no call, I believe old Joy was there on bended knees. Now listen, the Bible says when you enter in to the presence of Almighty God, there'll be no sorrow, no pain, no more dying, but God himself will wipe away every tear. He might have had a tear, but glory be to God, God wiped him away. Yeah, but never to know no more sorrow. Yeah. I'm telling you, death is sure. Right. It's coming to each and every one of us. Yeah. It don't matter how young we are or how old we get. Right. We're still going to meet this day. Yeah. But it made preparations. Thank yeah. God. Yeah. Meet the Lord. Yeah. Entered in uh, to a place of rest. Yeah. Bible reads like this. We spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise, and God did rest the seventh day from all his works. And in this place again, if they shall enter in to my rest, seeing therefore it remaineth that some must enter therein, and they to whom it was first preached entered not in because of unbelief. Yeah. And again he limited a certain day saying to David in David, today after so long a time as it is said today if they will hear his voice harden not your hearts. For if Jesus had given them rest then would he not afterward have spoken of another day. There remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God. For he that is entered into his rest, he also has ceased from his own works as God did from his. Let us labor therefore to enter in to the rest lest any man falleth after the same example of the unbeliever. And may God bless that of the reading of his word. But listen to me this morning, uh, uh, friends, if you will. Uh, I'm nothing this morning. Uh, 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 uneducated. Yes. Ain't got good sense that uh, God give a mule to get out of the rain. But I realized one day, as Joy realized, I not only a friend, uh, but a brother in Christ, I did realize that I was lost and undone and needed the Lord. Yeah. And I found rest. Listen, death has no hold on me. Death had no hold on Brother Joy. I know we're laying a fleshly body out here in the ground just a few minutes as far as we can go. But I know that soul took a flight. Yeah. A heavenly flight. But I know his name was written on the Lamb's book of life. He had a testimony. Yeah. And he loved a youth. He loved a saint. I remember a lot of times walking, we'd be sitting in service and then hot or cold, you're going to have to sing one. <laughs> I couldn't carry a tune in a paper sack. Oh, Joy loved the sight. Yeah. He loved people and he loved the Lord. He loved good preaching, Jerry. Yeah. He really did. The Lord's speaking of a rest here for each and every one of us. God said he'd give you life and it more abundant right. on this side. You, you can live in the surety of knowing that you must have. You say, pretty sure you ain't going to preach on heaven. Listen, there's a heaven to gain and a hell to show. There's going to be a judgment day sooner or later for the unbeliever. They're going to stand before Almighty God and give an account for everything that was done in this body. Even their own unbelief to their own damnation. And I can't teach your heart we're going to see you do that. It wants you to bow with an humble heart. Listen. The Lord said His ways wasn't our ways. He sent his only begotten son to die on the cross of Calvary to pay this debt. Yeah. They wasn't a man that could get out of this. Yeah. 
He told Martha over there when he went over there to see Lazarus, brother daddy. He said, you believe that he'll live again? She said, sure, Lord, in the resurrection. He, she looked over at her and said, I am the resurrection. Right. You want to get out of death? You want to live again except Jesus. Right, but there's a rest for God's people. What do you mean, preacher? When your work's down here, hey, listen, when God saved mine and your soul, He didn't save us to sit down on the stool and do nothing. He wanted us to be a life just as the life this boy was to each and every one that's come this way this evening. Yes, we got a duty and a job to do. Yes, and evidently, Brother Joy's done his way. Yes, done his way. Sure, my heart saddened for the family, <laughs> for the mother and father, the grandparents, brothers and sisters, brother in law, these little children. They still hope. They still hope they're seeing that. And that's in Christ Jesus. He found that rest. The evening God called him home. Don't have to worry about collapsed lungs. Don't have to worry about gasping for breath. He opened his eyes over on the other side and took a breath of air that he's never breathed before. Amen. He see things that my heart desires to see. He's walking in places my feet wants to be. Bless him. He sat down beside a Savior that evening where my heart wants to be. This is sure. This is going to happen to each and every one of us. I just hope and pray to God I can touch the people that He's touched. In His walk of life, not old, young man. Yeah. 36 years old, if I'm not mistaken. Left behind a beautiful wife that we love dearly. And kids that we love dearly. I believe if he could send a message back from heaven today, you know what he'd say? Get born again. Be ready. But this day's coming. This day's coming. <clears throat> you say, preacher, how do you know that he is ready and that uh, everything's well with him? I'm going to give you the word of the Lord. Maybe he'll comfort you through this. It said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He had made him his shepherd. Joy is not wanting. Everything that God has promised, the Bible said, he's not slack concerning his promise, as men are slack in their promises. Every promise God showed and told that boy, he's got to see. Every bit of it. He made me lie down in green pastures. He leaded me by still waters. The sting of death didn't have no touch on me. That grave that's laying in this casket right here. That grave. His fleshly body didn't have no hold on me. Joy not in there. That's a hard thing to understand, but I'm telling you, Joe's not in there. He's with God in heaven. He restores my soul. He leadeth me by the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, thy comfort me. Thirty-six years he had walked through this valley. And from the time that he accepted the Lord, the light, it became a shadow. 
Because Jesus was leading the way. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. What are you talking about, preacher? He prepared the table in front of my enemies. He showed death. He showed death that it didn't have a hold on him. His cup runneth over. That boy's joyful. He's rejoicing this season. In the presence of God. Yes, His Savior. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. There's no getting out. He's there. It's His. Everything in heaven belongs to Him. I believe there's a band of angels back there that evening. The Lord said, I've got one of mine coming. The preacher said a few minutes ago, I believe he went in with a smile on his face. All sorrow has vanished away. That's right. And God has wiped away the last tear from his eyes. Yeah. We're going to miss him. We don't understand. But I do know that God can give you comfort. For through Christ Jesus, He can comfort that loss. Family, you got all these memories that you can go back to. You can go back to. If there's anything we can do to help y'all in any way, please call on us. <laughs> I know your life hurt with trouble. And only you can know the pain. You weren't afraid to face the devil. You were no stranger to Go rest high on that mountain. Sun, your work on earth is done. Go to
Please stand.